I am Sheena from Shoal Group. Um, I am the program lead for space systems engineering. So I'm in charge of all the um, space related projects and people that we work with here in Shoal. I was interested in a lot of different things. I did theater in high school and journalism, but I also liked math and science. So, I, you know, chemistry and biology and, and math. Um, I had to work hard at them, but I enjoyed the challenge. I graduated from uni in California um, as a mechanical engineer with a minor in aerospace. My mom was a single mom. When things broke, she just made made it work, like, you know, tried to repair them, fix them in whatever way we could. And I think that kind of set up the foundations to say, well, oh yeah, problem solving, that's anybody can do that and it's just about being a bit creative sometimes you have to use a rubber band and some some gaffer tape uh, to, to, to fix the washing machine or, or whatever it is and then that then led into well if I can get paid to do this kind of stuff why wouldn't I and um, that's that's how I ended up in engineering when I was looking down the list of available degrees at the at the universities I was applying for I was like aerospace well that sounds really cool um, and I eventually changed to mechanical because I thought aerospace might be too specific. I've always been a generalist. I like to know yeah, a little bit about a lot of things and how everything interrelates or how things are impacted yeah. um, which suits really well for what we do now because a systems engineer is about kind of optimizing a, a solution so that everything together makes the best system that will, will perform the mission that is needed. Disneyland ended up being my uni job. It was a, an amazing training program because you learn about communications, you learn about dealing with a, a lot of people, and that was really fun. Plus I got to um, kind of leverage the, the two sides of my brain, that sort of artistic, creative side. I got to act like a pirate all day long, so I could do a pretty good pirate voice. All of that then becomes part of what you can bring in an offering. It's not just about mass and science, it's about that kind of holistic background. One of the things that I found really interesting was when I interviewed at um, my previous company, right out of uni, uh, most of my interview was talking about my time that I worked at Disneyland and McDonald's because engineering is a team sport. As much as TV and movies like to portray um, engineering as being this like lone effort where you're programming behind a computer, there are very, very few jobs that do that. For me, um, it's kind of a two-fold strategy. One is that uh, I made a group of friends in university, so you know I was able to kind of lean on and rely on. So even as I started work, you, you know, you have that sounding board to say, is, is this what you're experiencing? Do you know what's going on here? And you don't have to feel so alone or like you're the only one experiencing it. The other is that I didn't try to be something I wasn't. There's always opportunities um, or situations when you need to dial up or dial down parts of your personality. I'm um, an extreme optimist and, and kind of a buoyant person. And sometimes you need seriousness and so that you, it's not appropriate to bring you know, all that exuberance into a meeting. But that doesn't mean you turn it off or try to change how you are as a person. It's about knowing when it's appropriate to dial up or dial down, not change. I was put on the, um, the academic probation, so um, I kind of recentered and refocused and, and had to take a couple of classes over again, so my, my overall grade ended up being okay, but um, yeah, it, it was not a, a, an easy breezy time. We always think of like the Sheldon character in the Big Bang Theory, who's just this massive, you know, amazing physicist, it, um, but yeah, by and large, the rest of us are just everyday people. When you really start talking around, you realize that Everybody else is at the same plane as you. We're all struggling. We're all having a you know hard time of it. We we enjoy it and we want we like the challenge. We want to do it, but that doesn't mean that it's a piece of cake. Yeah, it's it's super fascinating. It's just about challenging, interesting stuff. I mean, you can't get any cooler than space, and I'm super happy and privileged to be able to work in space-related work. The other thing too is about designing not for optimization of the outcome, but maybe it's about designing now for sustainability, so you can repair things um, now, so design for repair or design for sustainability so that after it's done, it can be used for something else or, or repurposed in another way that, that no longer is just thrown in the trash. And so I think there's a big um, big movement towards that in engineering going forward. And um, like I said, we're uh, carbon neutral at Shoal, so wherever we can, we try to incorporate that in our, in our work too. There is no project that we work on that is somebody working all by themselves. It's always about working with a team of people and the teams get bigger and bigger. When you're working on a massive satellite team, that, that could be thousands of people through, throughout the entire life cycle. Engineering is about creativity. So I actually really like the acronym STEAM instead of STEM. So you have the science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths because it is about that kind of holistic approach. You get to bring both creativity and science together to create cool solutions. 
Inspiring girls is really important to me. So I've gone and spoken at several um, schools, particularly primary schools, because I think it's important for them to see that there is a, a person uh, like, like me that is kind of a bubbly personality that is an engineer. Shoal has actually a, quite a, a large percentage of women engineers, which I think is really amazing. Um, and my boss is a woman as well, so um, Claire um, is the head of programs for Shoal, and she's got an engineering and aerospace background. Last year, I was a finalist for the Space Leader of the Year uh, at the Australian Space Award, so I think that to me was one that I was really proud of because it, it really was a, a coalescence of all, all that I've been trying to do and shows that um, what we're doing here is really worth it. I feel like I'm making my mark by developing the Australian sovereign space capability. I'm also making my mark by being present and being visible and engaging the next generation of, of, of girls in uh, engineering and science and art and maths.